This is their version of JR Life Coaching. In the Academic Life Coaching today, I am going to talk to you about the science of learning. Learning is an art. Learning is a skill and learning is an experience. Learning is a natural skill. Small children and kids, they learn things very rapidly because they don't fear about mistakes. Even when they do a mistake, they try it once again and again and again and they are successful in that. You students can also be successful in learning conceptually with joyful and playful mindset if you don't fear about your grades. Yes, if you learn the art of science, the science of learning, you can very well understand your lessons conceptually. Your learning process will improve and your grades will also improve automatically. In the science of learning, it starts with self-quiz. Whenever a lesson is finished in the classroom, come home and start self-quizzing. Self-quiz is nothing but a recollection. When you start questioning about what happened in the classroom on that particular subject, the ideas will come into your mind automatically. And one by one, when you reply to the questions, the concept will be very clear in the mind. To help your self quiz, you have to engage your multiple senses, that is, visual, audio, and kinesthetic. Let me give you an example. I know something is right when it looks right, it sounds right or it feels right. Let us take uh, the example of the thousand wala crackers. Some of you will say that, yeah, it looks right. It is a thousand wala cracker. And some of you may say that, yeah, it sound is fantastic. It is definitely a thousand wala. Some of you will be satisfied when you touch it and then say that, yes, it has got the length and actually the thickness. Yes, it is a thousand wala. But when you try to study a thing conceptually in the science of learning, you should not stop with any one of these things. When you listen to a particular subject in the classroom, you should visually look at the teacher when she is explaining the things and, and what she is teaching should come to your ears and you should follow her body language, how she is explaining whether it is a physics or a maths or an English. So after that, in the self quiz, when you create an imaginary map in your mind, all these things will automatically come. Then you will be able to answer to the questions, to your self quiz very easily. So this visual audio and kinesthetic will be helpful, not only in one area of uh, learning what you are presently having, but to shed light on the other areas of audio and other things also. So, for learning a particular subject or a particular lesson, for a weekend test or a fortnightly test, if you question yourself and with all the three things, if you bring out the whole concept into your mind, it will be fresh in your mind not only for the monthly test, even for the annual examination. The third one is short frequent study sessions. Let me tell you before that one more example. When I am in a new city to find my way around, I like to study a map, ask for direction and walk around to get a feeling. Yes, some of you will say that studying a map is easy to go around the city. Some of you will say that the directions, I should look at it very clearly. And some of you will feel that wherever I stay, I should like to have a walk around the four streets. Uh, and let me say where the uh, temple is and where anything important place is there in that city. So, you have to follow the three things that will be very helpful for you to see the city fully. Short frequent study sessions is after you finishing your self quiz, 
Don't go for a long study session of the same lesson the same day. Leave your mind free. The next day in the morning, take a small session. Take your book and read that particular chapter. That will be very fresh in your mind. So that will fix in your mind forever. It will not go out. So that will automatically improve your science of learning and your grades will also go fantastically well. Thank you students. Let me meet you with other concepts in the next session. Watch our videos in the YouTube JR Coaching. Thank you so much.